Is it really true, once saved, always saved? Can you lose your salvation? Can you lose the Spirit of God? You know, not only can you lose it, it gets even worse than that. It really does. I mean, we all, we're all familiar with grieving the Holy Spirit, are we not? We're all familiar with grieving the Holy Spirit, what it means to grieve the Holy Spirit. Okay, again, this is a process that goes on of just grieving the Holy Spirit. Well, let's look at, I asked, can you lose the Spirit of God? I said, yes, but it gets even much worse than that. 1 Corinthians 3 and verse 16. Let's take a look at this. It says, know, it says, know ye not that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you. Now, now consider this. Your body is a temple. And it was made for a specific reason. Do you know what your body was made for? It was made to house the Spirit of God. Okay? Remember we talked about at the point of baptism, lay hands on you and we ask God to give you a portion of His Spirit and there's a moment of conception where God's Spirit unites with your spirit and a new creature in Christ starts to, to develop. Okay. All right. That's what your body was made for, to house the Spirit of God. And without it, you are incomplete, you're only half the person you're supposed to be, and you will go through your life, and you will die thinking, man, I'm missing something. Yes, you are, Spirit of God. That's what you're missing. So your body is the temple of God. Okay, notice this next verse, verse 17. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. That's God is going to destroy that person. For the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. Listen, folks. It's time we Christians start taking the subject of sin a little more seriously. You can grieve and ultimately lose the Spirit of God. The Spirit can abandon ship. And that's what's really in your Bible. Is that really in the Bible? What you think is in the Bible is not.